It's March 28, 2022, and I'd never thought the day would come. I've been waiting three agonizing years for this, and the moment has finally arrived. We're on the Rainbow Bridge, crossing Tokyo Bay, and just a couple clicks away is Tokyo Big Sight, the venue for the 49th Tokyo Motorcycle Show, and all the usual suspects we've come to expect. The beauties, and the beasts, and everything in between, including some serious eye candy. Welcome to the 49th annual Tokyo Motorcycle Show. We are here at Big Sight. After three years, we're finally back. The 2020, 2021 were canceled, but we're here. We're gonna check out a ton of bikes, starting with my favorites. Before we get started, a real quick shout out to my weekly true crime podcast, Homicide Inc. Be sure and check it out. Compelling true crime stories that pass the test of time. That link is in the description. Homicide Inc, check it out. Let's get started. It's kind of hard to get a clear shot. There's so many people here already. We just got started. It's like 10, 15 a.m. Place is packed already. That's a really nice scrambler. Oh, that is slick. That is a beast. Bit of a BMW ripoff, but. That is a big bike, man. Yeah, I love this bobber. This is slick.
nice lineup of triumphs here for the 2022 season. The street triple. Yeah, baby, the speed triple. It's up to 1,200. Yeah. I ride a 2008 speed triple, 1,050. But I would love to take this for a ride. Rocket 3, this thing is an absolute beast. Good. As you can see, it's incredibly crowded here, so we're struggling a little bit to get good shots of all the bikes but we'll do our best. That is sick. These girls must be absolutely exhausted. I think that's Come on. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Thank you. like a hybrid BMX electric dirt bike. This is the Daytona booth showing off some of their custom parts on this beautiful Z900 Kawasaki. Oh man, love that green. Wow, that is gorgeous. That green on there, that is dynamite. pretty slick as well.
not really crazy about those wheels. That would be the first thing to go if I owned this. Meh. Caballero Scrambler 500. So these are all electric. I've yet to find an electric bike that I'm crazy about, with the exception of the Harley. I've always liked the styling of the vintage Lambrettas, and obviously they're maintaining that body style, but with updated electronics, and because God knows anybody who's owned a Lambretta has suffered just like those who have owned a vintage Vespa, they always break down. But you look pretty cool broken down on the side of the road. About 45, 46,000 bucks. But look at that. Wow. 
That's gorgeous, man. Holy hell. Let's just look at that for a minute. And he's in very good company. Good God, man. Imagine having both of these in your garage. That's just... That is, that's the eye candy award so far today. That is a little too wide for the traffic in Tokyo. So the Moto Corsa is a customization shop here in Japan, kind of on the outskirts of Tokyo. This thing looks like something out of Common Rider. <laughs> yeah, kind of shoddy craftsmanship there. I 
This is the line for the Honda booth. I ain't gonna wait. So we're gonna have to look at them from the peripherals. Sorry about that. Honda and Kawasaki are by far the two most popular booths or exhibits here at the motorcycle show. And I refuse to wait in that line. That's about, about an hour wait to get in. So sorry kids, we're not gonna do that. It's just really nice to return to some normalcy and being out in public and uh, with the crowds. Everybody's getting a groove on with the bikes and uh, we've all been starved of this sort of thing for more than two years, so it's about time. are all about 600 US. This is more from the Z8 series. These are the X14, about 750 US. I'm liking this one. That's cool. These are the GT Air 2. They're about 600 US. Jeez, look at the size of this thing. That is a fat head helmet. Soul fuel. Look at this beast.
It's the R18. What a bike. Look at this paint job. Here's more of a stripped down 1800. Oh God, here comes the flannel guy again. I promise you, I'm not following this guy around. This is the new electric vehicle. How do you feel about that? Let me know in the comments. I think you need to go back to the drawing board with this. This is the K1600.
And this is what I've been looking forward to. Hi. That's gorgeous, man. Turismo Veloce. 800 cc. もうもらったあ,ありがとう。ストには純正でライドモードを任意で選択していただくそしてスポーツ走行性能を上げてもその性格を3種類選んでいただくことが可能ですその他にも Bluetooth で接続したモバイルの通話応答や音楽のようなスタイリングそれがクルーザーシリーズのチーフダークホースです続いてステンション左手側にありますマットブラックに統一された大柄な究極のグランドツアラーこちらはインディアンパースートダークホースですパースートというのは和訳で追求という意味を持っています
今年で100周年を迎える伝統的なモデルですクラシックなルックスに最新のテクノロジーを合わせ持つそんなモーターサイクルチーフチーフダークホースは停止中かかわらず設定が可能3種類ありますが全く違った性格乗り味を実現しますコーナー中横滑りを防止するリーンアングルスタビリティコントロールやコーナー中でも安全にブレーキをかけることができるコーナリングプレコントロール付き ABS ダイパワーでプロットコントロールと便利な機能そしてさまざまなスポーツ走行性能を上げる電子制御インディアンモーターサイクル切手のスポーツモデルが FTR ではクルーザーシリーズからご紹介をいたしましょうクルーザーシリーズからチーフダークホースですこのブース右手側の奥のような形をしているのがこのツーリングシリーズのロードマスターですこのロードマスターは伝統的なスタイルをそのままに使用していますが電子制御をしっかり装備した最新のモーターサイクルといえますエンジンには空泳の 1890cc We're going to head outside for a motorcycle performance. It might be the Keisatsu, Shirobai, the Japanese motorcycle police. Let me know in the comments what you have liked so far. Well, hopefully, after what we've seen today, this is an indication that we are moving past this pandemic and getting back to a little bit of normalcy, as you can see around us. At least here in Japan, people are ready to get back to their lives and to their enjoyment, like today at the 49th annual Tokyo Motorcycle Show. I'm gonna go wait in line for that Kawasaki. Guys, to take it back, we are not gonna wait in this line. It's all the way around the entire booth. So this is the H2 Ninja. It's an amazing bike. It's the SX. X10R Ninja.
I'm just not into these electric bikes. I capitulated and I'm waiting in line to see the Yamaha bikes. I got a press pass, but it's not really doing me any favors. I hate lines. デザイン系は3つの好きなものを選択することが可能です存在感の表現を含めてリアタイムに 
This is hilarious. This is the hyenas. Man, what a show. I don't know what to say. I'm, a, I'm at a loss of words. I think I found my favorite booth all day. This guy's got a tough job.
What's he do if he has to go to the bathroom? He's getting a little bit antsy. Is there a big diaper in there? These are always the most elegant. Well, I hope you saw something that you liked here at the 49th annual Tokyo Motorcycle Show. I think I'm about done for the day. Let me know in the comments your favorite bike. And we'll be seeing you again before too long. Make sure and check out the Homicide Inc. True Crime Podcast. That link is in the description for a weekly compelling true crime story. Take care, guys. Bye for now.